on people it's your boy brass tax in this beach you already know you already know i thought i'd do something a little different this time you know go through and show you what i'm working with show you what i got in this bitch and just uh do mini reviews on them because there's a lot of games that i wanted to talk about but i just i i just can't be bothered to do individual reviews on them but so here we are in this bitch brass tax battlefield one Multiplayer is A1. I love the fact that they're, they're going back to their roots. Old school in this bitch, and I love that. I absolutely love that. Great game, highly recommend it. It's cheaper now, worth picking up if you were still on the fence about it. This one's different. I can't put my finger on what it is with the shooting mechanics, but your boy's okay. He was okay on Black Ops, but with this one, I don't know what it is. I just can't. I can't get to. I can't get to grips with it. I just can't. And obviously, Modern Warfare is excellent. Excellent uh, remaster. I mean, if you can get it separately, get it separately. I don't think it's worth spending a hundred odd pounds on getting the super duper deluxe edition because Infinite Warfare is ass, to be honest. And you got Dead Rising 3. It's a game I'm like 90% finished through, but still haven't finished. And I want to finish that before I even start Dead Rising 4. Destiny, god damn. I was excited about Destiny when it when it first came out and I had a little fun with it and then I stopped playing it for a bit because I had other games and then they brought out an update which changed everything and then they brought out another another update which changed everything again in this beach. So I gave up. Destiny's 2 is coming out so I don't know, let's see what happens. Doom, lot of fun, lot of fun. Haven't played through all of the campaign yet but been having a ton of fun on multiplayer. Great game. Mm -mm -mm. Let's talk about this bitch. I wasn't sure on it and then my friend told me to pick it up and then I actually picked it up and I've started playing it and you know in multiplayer some of the most fun I've ever had honestly it is awesome it's such a different game from everything else out right now I do recommend picking it up if you're big on multiplayer then this is definitely a, an A1 game really 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 good I think this was a little lackluster to be honest I think graphically it was beautiful uh, the storyline was okay, uh, the multiplayer is decent, I don't know, it's not really blowing me away as much as I expected it to be, and obviously you got the Ultimate Edition as well. Mafia 3, I really enjoy the story of this game, I think I'm halfway through it, I'm really enjoying the story, graphically it's weak, some of the mechanics are weak, in terms of gameplay it, it feels a little dated, but the story will make you want to keep playing it, and if it's cheap I recommend it. Overwatch is a great game, but yeah, it's it's. I'm not playing enough. I, w I was hammering that game when I first got it, and I know there's a lot of updates to it. You know, I've been playing it in spurts. That's all I can say. Titanfall 2. Love this game. I like the original, but this one just builds on everything the original didn't. It's an amazing game, and with the new update, it is A1 a lot of fun. I think ever since Titanfall 2 came out, I think it's really kind of highlighted how basic COD is. Do you know what I mean? Because... This is like COD, but with Titans in this bitch. How can that be a bad thing? Ghost Recon. This is my mini review on this bitch. All I'm going to say is Ghost Recon is an amazing game with friends. If there's three, four of you, you're going to have the time of your life. It is a lot of fun. I have the same feeling when you're doing missions. I don't know what it is. You know, remember in GTA when you're doing heist jobs, the pressure's on. That's how I feel when there's four of us. And, and we've got a job to do. It's that kind of pressure. They, they've done that really well. It's a nice arcade -y feel to it. I do recommend picking it up. If you plan on playing this as a group effort with a bunch of friends, it's, it's the one to get. I prefer it to The Division 100% because I think The Division took itself a bit too seriously. Uh, but this is a better game. It's that kind of vibe. 100%. Watch Dogs 2 is decent i like it but you know games like this are always going to be compared to the king and in my opinion it still doesn't touch gta 5 is it worth full price no does it have more depth than the first game is this what the first game should have been yes but is it worth a full price i don't think so that's pretty much my game collection on the xbox one if some of you guys were on the fence with these titles with some titles i hope some of the things i said about them helped uh but uh, in any case Thanks for watching. If you liked, hit the like button. Uh, if you've got any questions about any of the games, obviously leave, leave comments. Uh, definitely subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm going to catch you guys soon.